really feels a lot like spring today, which is kind of odd. So did we remember everything? I always feel like I'm forgetting something. Honey, I think we have the entire house in our vehicle. There's not anything we possibly could have forgotten. At least half of it is in here, probably. <laughs> I don't think there's that many people that probably are going to go drive north for a winter vacation, do you think? Probably. No, I think we're probably of the rare breed. We're on a hunt to see snow. Do you remember the very first time we went to Duluth? It was a summer trip, but I don't remember what year it was. And I don't think I should probably dig through pictures and put them in the video because I look ridiculous. I no, I think you should. How many times have we been there since, do you think? Probably 12. 10 or 12 yeah, times. Yeah, probably. I was thinking maybe like 10. Yeah. Note to self is it's probably not a good idea to run out of gas, and I almost did. Minnesota border, or as your family would say, Minnesota. Air is so much cleaner already. You can breathe better. Everything is just so much better. We've been together long enough now. I should have seen that coming. Finally, some snow. Wow. You know you are in Minnesota when. I can hardly reach the run on the chair. <laughs> it's light, dark, light, dark. So you remember how Ryan said he thought he forgot something? We're out for our pretty typical trip to Walmart to pick up those things that we forgot. And he realizes that he doesn't have beer to drink tonight. It's 9.49 and in the state of Minnesota, Liquor stores close at 10 p.m. and you can't buy liquor what kind of crazy when you're not at a liquor stuff store. Is this? I have never seen this man in such a mad dash in my entire life. And we've been together a long time. In my defense, there's like 30 other people in that <laughs> store that are feeling the exact same way as me, so. So we're on a trip here to kind of try to cross some things off our bucket list and today I looked at the weather when I woke up this morning and I found out that there's some possibility of some big waves today and that's kind of been one thing that's been on my bucket list for a long time is to be up here during this time of year and actually see some really big waves. Normally during the summertime you don't really see a whole lot of that. So today this afternoon there's supposed to be some actual like gale force winds coming in and I'm just excited to see what that's going to look like. Till this afternoon to see the waves, apparently. So I think it's just gonna get stronger throughout the day, but I'm already pretty impressed by what I saw down there. And I know for most people who've ever seen the ocean and or live by the ocean, they're gonna be like, wow. You're seeing some waves, okay. But on a lake of this size, it's still pretty cool to see. And we don't get to see that stuff here in the Midwest too often. Now on the way up here, you said you wanted to see snow even if you have to drive up to Grand Marais, so. Well, I know, but I saw snow now. <laughs> <laughs> this is enough snow for you? Well, it's not enough, but. to 
Upper Falls right now. What do you think, Kel? It's unbelievable. Like, it's beautiful in the summer. I mean, it, it really is. But it's just kind of amazing what Mother Nature will do. bundling up for an actual look at the big waves now the wind is up quite a bit from what it was before so we're going out in basically the same spot to see how it looks That was worth the entire trip for me right there, and we haven't even seen what you're looking to see yet. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Commencing my hair getting ruined in three, two, whenever we get to the wind. Told ya. <laughs> By far the biggest takeaway for me, the biggest surprise for me, is the sheer number of people out and about. It is so cold out right now, but there are so many people just out enjoying the nature today. Uh, snowflakes falling, big waves, it was awesome. We like to uh, watch a Vikings game or a wild game or something if possible because there's a lot of fans who are here as well and so it just makes it more fun.
Vikings lost. Shocker. Yeah, big surprise. Abbey Miner was the very first ship that Ryan and I saw when we first came to Duluth. We have looked for it on almost every trip we've been up here and most of the time we've successfully seen it. Every year I ask this guy to take me out looking at Christmas lights so this year he went big. This has been a tradition for me ever since I was a little girl to go out and see Christmas lights. Another Minnesota activity where it's cold but no one cares, they're all here. Well, if not, you can come get me in spring.